Your bicep peak is mostly defined by the long head, which is located on the outer portion of your arm, as opposed to the short head, which is closer to the center of your body. So today I want to give you guys the best exercises to target that long head and develop bigger, rounder, and taller bicep peaks in no time. Before we jump right in, just keep in mind that your bicep isn't only responsible for elbow flexion, but it also provides close to 50% of the strength required to turn your hand over. Specifically, the long head is very very active when turning your pinky up towards the ceiling. So remember to do that during your reps to help develop those peaks even more. So first let's start with an exercise that you may have never done before, the Bayesian curl. This exercise was originally popularized by Menno Henselmans and we can tweak it to specifically put more tension on the long head and develop nicer peaks. So first you'll want to lower the pulley all the way down to the bottom of a cable cross machine. Then you're going to grab the cable in your hand with your palm facing up and take a few steps forward so that your arm is being pulled behind your body. This takes the slack out of the long head which adds tension on that portion of the bicep. From that starting position you're going to curl the cable up towards your chest while doing your best to keep your elbow locked in one place behind your body. This will actually prevent your hands from coming up any higher than around your lower chest which is what we want. Then, while still keeping your elbow back, slowly lower the cables back down to the starting position and repeat for reps, making sure to hit each side for each set. Another exercise that's very similar is the barbell drag curl. The major difference between regular barbell curls and drag curls is that your elbows end up positioned further behind the body, and like I said, when we do that, we increase the stretch and tension placed on the long head of the bicep. So to perform this correctly, you're going to grab a loaded barbell, and I recommend taking a closer grip to target the long head even more. From that starting position, you'll curl the bar up while gliding the bar along your body the whole time. By imagining that you're dragging the bar up your body, your elbows will naturally stay back in the right place. Once you curl the bar up as high as you can, which will once again be at about your chest level, slowly lower it back down and repeat for reps. Keep in mind, you'll most likely need to use a much lighter weight than what you would normally lift for regular bicep curls. That's perfectly normal for these first two exercises. Another exercise that positions the elbows behind the body and can be done with just a pair of dumbbells is the incline dumbbell bicep curl. You would set the bench at an incline angle of about 45 to 60 degrees and lay back with the dumbbells in your hands at your sides. Just by getting into this starting position, your arms will be slightly behind your body automatically, and that'll put the same stretch on that long head. So from that starting position, you're going to curl one dumbbell up towards your shoulder while keeping your elbow close to your body and turning your hand over so that your pinky is pointing up like we talked about. Then slowly lower back down as you switch to the other side and alternate back and forth for reps. Make sure as you're doing this exercise that you're not using your shoulders by driving your elbows forward at the end of the movement to rest. Instead, keep your elbows and upper arms back in the starting position the whole time to ensure that the long head stays stretched. Also, if you'd like, it's always an option to do this exercise by curling both arms at the same time rather than alternating on each rep. Going back to cables, another effective peak builder that you may not know about is the lying cable bicep curl. This is one of the few bicep exercises that make it almost impossible to use momentum, which is an immediate plus. So to begin, you'll position the pulley at the top of a cable cross, attach a bar to the pulley, and place a flat or decline bench under the bar. Then you're going to grab the bar with a close underhanded grip and lay back against the bench with your arms extended straight up. Next, you're going to curl the bar towards your forehead. And right here, you'll notice another big benefit of this exercise. There's no way to rest at the top of the contraction. No matter how close you bring the bar, the tension stays on your biceps. As you curl, remember to keep your elbows and upper arms locked in that one position so that only your forearms and hands are moving. Once the bar is almost at your forehead, extend your arms back to the original starting position and repeat for reps. Now, aside from the long head, another muscle that contributes to the appearance of your bicep peak is the brachialis, which sits behind that long head and can actually help push your bicep peak higher as the brachialis gets developed more and more. That's why we're going to throw in alternating cross-body dumbbell curls for that brachialis. So first you're going to grab two dumbbells and hold them in a neutral position at your sides. Before doing anything, you'll want to lean slightly forward to help take your shoulder out of the movement and to put more constant tension on the brachialis. Then you're going to curl the dumbbell up and across your body, aiming to bring the dumbbell up to your opposite pec. 
then slowly lower the dumbbell back down. And as you're bringing it down, repeat the same thing on the other side, going back and forth for reps. Next, let's talk about one of the best compound exercises for your bicep peaks, narrow grip chin-ups. Chin-ups are a little different than pull-ups because your hands will be supinated, which means your palms will be facing towards you rather than away from you. Also, your hands will typically be closer together during chin-ups than with pull-ups, and that's especially true with this narrow variation. So grab the pull-up bar with your hands closer than shoulder width apart. Then hang straight down before pulling yourself all the way up until your chin clears the top of the pull-up bar. Then slowly lower yourself down and repeat for reps. Pretty simple, but not easy. Keep in mind, if you can't do pull-ups at all right now, you can still develop your biceps with an assisted pull-up machine or by using resistance bands. And over time, you can slowly reduce the amount of assistance you need until you're ready to do these chin-ups completely on your own. The next exercise is the concentration curl, and we can make it target the long head even more by once again focusing on turning your hand over as you curl up. So start by sitting on a flat bench with your legs wide and a dumbbell on the ground in between your feet. Then pick the dumbbell up and pin the area right above your elbow against your inner thigh. Put your other hand on your other knee for support, and this will be your starting position with your arm hanging straight down and your palm facing up. So from there, just curl straight up, leading with your pinky first until the dumbbell is almost touching your chest. Then lower back down, keeping the hand in that same supinated position all the way through, and then repeat for reps. Let's move on to one of the best barbell exercises for adding mass to your bicep peaks, the close grip barbell curl. In general, a closer grip will internally rotate your arms, which helps target the outer head better than a wide grip. So first grab a loaded barbell with your hands positioned narrower than your shoulders. From there, curl the barbell up towards your collarbones while keeping your elbows close to your ribs the whole time. That means no swinging your elbows or hips forward and no flaring your elbows outward either. When you get close to the peak of the contraction, don't bring the bar under your chin and rest. Instead, stop before that point where you lose the tension and lower right back down for your next rep. Another one of my all-time favorites is the preacher curl. And even though this exercise will have your elbows in front of your body rather than behind, by taking a closer grip and internally rotating the arms, we can still effectively hit the long head. Preacher curls are also very good at developing your biceps in general because the exercise almost forces you to not use momentum and not cheat, putting all the tension on your biceps. So you're gonna stand over the preacher curl and grab your loaded easy bar with a close grip and your palms facing up. Make sure you slide your elbows down the pad so that your armpits are almost completely touching the angled edge at the top of the pad. Then simply curl the easy bar as if you're aiming to bring it to your collarbones, but once again, stop a few inches in front to maintain that tension. Then you're gonna lower pretty much all the way back down. Just make sure that you don't hyperextend your elbows at the bottom. So even after you lower the bar all the way down, you still wanna keep tension in your biceps and you wanna keep a slight bend in your elbows before you curl back up. Next are alternating dumbbell curls. And the key to targeting the long head is, you guessed it, once again, focusing on turning that hand over and bringing that pinky up. So you'll begin with two dumbbells in your hands at your sides in a neutral position. While keeping your elbows tight to your rib cage, you're gonna curl one dumbbell up towards your shoulder. As you do this, turn that hand from a neutral position to a supinated position. Make sure your elbow doesn't flare forward at the top of the movement, as that will give you an opportunity to rest between every rep. Just like before, you're gonna stop a few inches in front of your shoulder, and you're gonna lower back down while turning your hand back to that neutral starting position. Then repeat the same exact thing on the other side and alternate back and forth. So those are 10 of the best exercises that you can use to help build taller bicep peaks. Now, don't go ahead and put all 10 into one arm workout because your biceps are relatively small muscles, so it's not necessary to do a crazy amount of sets or reps to stimulate growth. Simply taking half of the exercises from this video and performing three sets of eight to 10 reps for each will be more than enough for an amazing long head bicep workout. The other half you can do on your second arm day of the week or you can save them for when you change up your routine eventually. 
I really hope you've gotten an exercise or two out of this video that you can use to further develop your biceps. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe to my channel. And if you want a done for you system to add pounds of muscle onto your body in 90 days or less, you can head on over to my website where you'll find programs designed to eliminate that trial and error that's typically associated with confusion and people giving up. Regardless of whether your goal is to lose body fat or gain muscle in specific places like your chest, back, arms, and legs, we can help you by providing a full diet and workout plan that's based around your preferences and based on your goals that you're after. You'll also get access to a coach, a recipe book, a full video exercise library, and much more. So to learn more, you can click the link below in the description, or you can visit my website directly at gravitytransformation.com. I'll see you guys soon.